So I've been doing IG live series that is all about wellness and self-care and I've been just so amazed and inspired by the amazing community that we have built and how many of you are coming on a journey with me to really learn how to take care of ourselves during these times and also in general. I do share all these sessions on IGTV on my Instagram but I also really wanted to share it with my YouTube family and community. So. Hope you enjoy this. I am so, so excited. Talk a little bit about self-care. I think that's something that I love to do is have um, discussions with women that, oh, people in general, that I just admire and, um, you know, get inspired by their work and what they've built and what they've done. And Miranda is definitely one of those people. Hello. Hi. It's so good I to know. see you. It's so nice to see you too. How have you been? Good, you know, um, very busy, just like everyone else right now. You know, I find you someone that has kind of figured out, and I know that it's always kind of a balancing act, but I feel like you really, you're someone who's really aware of themselves and you found, you know, the kind of habits and tricks that work for you. And I just really wanted to kind of walk through what they are and if there's something you know that might be very helpful for others the first thing that so many people asked me to ask you was um what is a self-care ritual that you do every day without fail i've kind of stripped it back to the basics because now i kind of have less time than i did before i know some people might have more time but for me with the three kids at home like not going to school and not going to preschool um so I do have uh less time so I just like make sure every day I cleanse mist and moisturize my face that's one little thing that I do for myself and it makes me feel really good and um one thing I do when I'm doing my face oil in the morning and moisturizer is I have a gua sha which is like a little rose quartz mm -hmm. gua sha and what I do is I use it to like ma massage in the oil but at the same time it feels like you know it's obviously deep puffing my face but it feels like I'm giving myself some love and nurturing because that's what this rose quartz crystal does and that's also all of my products through Cora are filtered through rose quartz crystals so you're getting that nurturing um mm -hmm love every time you're using the products so. so it feels like a deeper process rather than just like the topical you know you're doing your skincare routine it's a it's a very much of a ritual for you yeah and i'm really focusing you know just on the basics as i said every day i'm not really worried about you know wearing too much makeup i keep it super minimal um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll wear like a little lipstick just to add a bit of color. But the funny thing is with my clothes, um, like I've been wearing like colors a lot because I feel like oh, they, they brighten my day and make me feel better by, and I've been dressing the kids in colors as well. Um, but you see, that's, awesome. that's, that's something that you don't really think about. I mean, a lot of us, especially now, right, we're all sitting at home, we wake up in the morning, a lot of us are kind of staying in our PJs or throwing something on. Um, and spend a day in like our robes. So <laughs> this is this is what I'm talking about about this hack that you know even wearing a color we think yeah. it's we, we're doing it mindlessly, but it's true. I mean, when I see colors, it's just such a different experience that instantly kind of takes you to a different place mentally. So that's especially point. I feel like like bright colors for me feel more uplifting like I've been wearing a lot of yellow or bright red I do this little thing where I have these little earrings and one's a lucky little ladybug um and this is four leaf clover and mm -hmm. on this side there's a little rainbow and I got these um at a when I was in New York quite some time ago and at the time I was feeling a little like flat and so I thought if I buy the you know if I get these little pieces it's just a little reminder of like the sunshine you know yeah a little spark of yeah positivity that's yeah. that's amazing so you know what maybe that's the time to wear those things that we always say for special occasions yeah so definitely tomorrow definitely I'm coming down for breakfast in my tool dress <laughs> I mean why not you might as well. I mean, you've got nothing. 
nothing to lose by doing so and, and enjoying yourself and enjoying every moment. Um, yeah. Some other little things I like to do is I have a little affirmation box. And so I'll just pick out a random affirmation for the day. That's a way to just remind ourselves of that. Um, just like a, a, a little uplifting message. And I like to pick it randomly. Mm -hmm. um, so is it I, messages that you write by yourself, just like a bunch of them and put them in like a box or a jar? Yeah, you can. Um, I actually made... I actually made a jar um, on Valentine's Day a couple of years ago for uh, Flynn and also for Evan. And I put all different things in there that I love about them. And so I've been saying, Flynn, why don't you pick out one of those per day? Um, oh, and that's then, amazing. And so he can, like, pick out a little thing. I should tell Evan to do the same. But he's been very busy as well himself working from home. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. But I'm going to do um, that. I'm going to put it next to his bed and say, honey, you've got to pick one of these. That is actually such a great idea. Yeah. I'm going to um, do that for sure for the kids. My mom's actually here, which is good. So she's with the kids mm -hmm. right now. And she's been self-isolating with us for the last um, two weeks as well. And mm -hmm. so it's been great because she's been helping with the cooking and everything and with the three kids. So I just came down to a different little area so I wouldn't be disturbed. But I bought all my fun things that I thought might be useful. For instance, like in the morning, dry body brushing. It's something that every one of us can do. Stimulates the circulation. It's good for lymphatic mm -hmm. drainage. And Have you been doing it for a long time, the dry brushing? Oh, yeah. Like, so you've seen, like you do know the difference that it makes. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. So you, you know that it makes a difference in your body. Oh, 100%. Okay. Even energetically, I feel mm -hmm. better when I'm dry body brushing. So like aromatherapy crystals. I made these mm -hmm. little packs a while back um, at Quora. It's called an energy ritual clearing kit. And mm -hmm. it has in there a little mini um, rose quartz. It has a little mini amethyst and a little candle and a little palo santo. So people can do it at home themselves if they want. It's like an um, intro to the cleanse. Just to taking all care of your life, yeah. your mind, your body, your spirit at this, I mean, at any time, really. I mean, I made these a while back. So you did mention that you meditate. Yes. Um, have you been meditating for a very long time? Is it something you do on a daily basis? Yeah, I've been meditating. Um, I just can't even remember when I started. I was probably around 18. So before yeah. it became like very trendy. Yes. <laughs> so I've tried so many different types of meditation and I love meditation and I love all different types. I'm not like one of those people that's like, I only do this type of meditation. Mm -hmm. um, I've recently learned how to do this thing called Kriya Yoga, which is a type of meditation that, um, you know, you need to be taught by someone who has been taught um, and they need to teach you exactly the techniques. Like I, I'm not allowed to teach the techniques. It's the same thing with TM meditation. I learned um, how to do TM meditation and you get your specific mantra with TM. And mm -hmm. then sometimes I'll randomly do like a guided meditation. So it's what tips would you give someone that wants to start meditating and just can't get into it? Well, I mean, I feel like there are different types of meditation for different people. And that's why you have to find like, which one works for you. Like, it's just like exercise. There are different yeah. types of exercise and not everyone is going to love running. Not everyone's going to love yoga, but you can find something within mm -hmm. the exercise realm that resonates with you. And that's the same with meditation that there are so many different types and and the guided ones you really need to feel that connection with the person who is guiding leading them is yeah leading them. you seem very positive and very calm how do you stay so positive and productive because you're still running a company with yeah. being with the kids at home as well so how do you stay positive and productive during like stressful times like these well i've had um a lot of conference calls like with the children in the room while I'm breastfeeding um, because that's the way that it has to be right now. And it's something that as a family has actually brought us even closer together. Like 
today when I was on a conference call and I'm breastfeeding um, Miles and then Hart was in the background and he was, you know, he was having his own moment wanting to connect with me. But I said to him, honey, please, can you read a little book? Mommy's just on a call right now. And he actually listened and started reading, sat down, listen, reading his book. And it was just really sweet to see that even at that age that he can understand, mm -hmm. like, I was like, mommy will play with you. I just have to finish this call. And so I think, obviously, I think it starts from a place of gratitude. And I feel really grateful that I have my health and then I have my family and my family has their health and um, that we have a roof over our head. And I'm really grateful for all of those people out there that are, you know, helping to save people's lives. And I'm heartbroken for all those lives that are lost. And I'm just, you know, staying in the moment right now. Mm -hmm. um, that's all of, we can do. Yeah, that's all we can do. Yeah. Is there any self care books or mind mindfulness books or anything that you read um, that you would say really changed the way you view things? Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, I'm just thinking the book like in my whole life, like the most life-changing books would be Power mm -hmm. vs. Force is a great starting point. Um, mm -hmm. So he talks about like the different levels of consciousness. It's funny. It's like when I started reading his books, I mean, all this information, I kind of knew because I was already, you know, immersing myself in that kind of literature. But there was something about the way he explained the concept that just clicked for me. So um, it was just such a revelation for me to be like, oh, I am not my thoughts. My thoughts can come and go. They don't have to be my identity, right? Yeah. What are your favorite ways to unwind? So, you know, if you have a crazy day every day. Um, yeah, every day is crazy. I feel like every day I'm hustling. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> but... I like to give the kids a bath and I put the relaxation mu music on. Um, I like to feed um, the children early, mm -hmm. especially Hart, and, um, and, you know, get him in the bath, get Miles in the bath. A lot of the time I'll hop in the bath with them and we put the music on and put the candles on and then get them all snuggled up in bed after a few books and then once they're in bed, then I can have a little me time. Um, so I love to just, you know, chill out by putting a face mask on, listening to some music, maybe get back in the bath. So then I can, you know, add the sea salt and, and baking soda because I like to have a sea salt and baking soda bath. Oh, um, interesting. What, yeah. what do you, how does it help you? it's a way to kind of detox your body. Like I don't like to do it with the kids in the bath. I like to just do it with me. So, you know, if yeah, I can, once they're out. yeah, once they're asleep, then I can go back and add a little more hot water to the bath. And <laughs> I'm going to do a little research. I mean, sea salt, I know, but baking soda. Yeah. It's a pound of ba baking soda and a pound of sea salt. I love that. Okay. I'm going to look into that. Having this conversation with you, I feel that calming energy and I don't know how you do it because again, as I mentioned, the first year of like at each of my kids was just like, no one could talk to me. I couldn't finish a sentence. I was I'm, baby place. I'm so thankful that you kind of jumped on this uh, live and shared all these tips with us. It's my pleasure. It was nice chatting with you. Nice Thank to you, see Miranda. You. Nice to see you. Sending too. my love to everyone out there. Thank Stay you. Safe. Stay inside. Bye. Bye.